Alessandra here from MeetAdvisors.com and I'm joined with George Bursiaga, founder and CEO of Elevate Digital. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing very well as well. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for uh, bearing the cold and coming out to our office. Absolutely. Uh, so I want to start off with asking you who are you and what is Elevate Digital? Sure. Uh, first thank you for, for having me. Um, Elevate Digital is an interactive software company focused on changing the way people communicate at street level via devices and different types of devices from touchscreen devices, public Wi-Fi, and mobile. Can you kind of elaborate on that and what are some of the devices that you use and how do they work? Sure. So over the last four years we've taken a direct focus in building a software platform that would manage and control data, content, messaging, and um, other devices. And what I mean by that is while we're typically presented in an interactive touch display, maybe at a street corner, mm -hmm. that's driving information, content, apps, and services, that same type of platform, that software platform that you'll see in that screen that you're touching, will live within a mobile device after you've touched an authenticator or if you've moved something from that screen onto your mobile device, that same platform or experience will live on that mobile device. Um, what you'll see in the near future, you'll see more cities, um, transportation locations, uh, retail locations becoming smarter by using mm -hmm. different devices to connect um, everywhere to all types of content. So okay. we're kind of managing that ecosystem of software that's allowing you to do that. And so what is your um, typical customer? How, how do you get your product out there? So there's a couple, of, a couple of things we've done probably differently than most people would have expected. We identified a couple of verticals that would allow us the ability to expand this platform. Um, this platform is a, a little bit different than what people would assume we would do. So when we originally started, and I'll take a step back, when we originally started, the technology was going to live in this interactive display that mm -hmm. was going to help us connect people to content and advertising. Okay. Because it was low hanging fruit for us. If I could get you to touch a screen that was connected to a Nike ad, I could inspire you to do something and I can control what happened after that. So it took digital advertising into much more of a digital based format where I was physically engaging the ad. So it became uh, interactive. Mm -hmm. um, we saw that working so well that we really wanted to expand outside of that and building more or a larger variety of content that someone can engage with. So cities across the country started to think smarter. What, how could I build content that would connect everyone at different levels? And you're, you're hearing a lot of IoT, IOE kind of um, uh, buzzwords now where the Internet of Things is that sort of connecting content or the Internet is connecting everything. So we really want to play a role there. So we went from just content and advertising to let's connect everything. Let's connect apps, services, people, devices, and use that same software platform inside that touch screen display. Let's use it inside mobile after they've touched that screen. Mm -hmm. Let's use it as the platform that's connecting people via public Wi-Fi and let's really expand it. So if I was going to give you a good example of what our end result would be mm -hmm. in using Elevate, it would be working with a partner like Cisco okay. um, on a deployment like a city like Chicago. So when you came close to a device at a street corner that was interactive, it would know you were nearby and mm -hmm. alert you to the device. You would connect for maybe a message from the mayor, you would connect to transportation info, mm -hmm. maybe alert safety services, and you could take information with you via mobile. Now when you did that, that same connection, that software is now in, in your mobile device and it's living with you as you're walking around. So now as you're walking down the street, it's going to give you information based on where you're located. So now you're going to be geo-coordinated or connected in that city. If I jump on the bus, that bus may be connected via public Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. So now I have the same authentication and services alerts that I would have gotten next to that device on the street. When I get to the train station, same thing, that public Wi-Fi is going to follow me in this cohesive connection across the city. Now, the common platform or software here is Elevate. So the, the common connection between all of it will be Elevate okay. from that device to that bus to that train to the mobile device and everything in between. All the content and information that's happening through that ecosystem is us managing it. Now we're not managing the infrastructure, the back end stuff like that Cisco would do. Mm -hmm. We're not providing the service. We're not bringing you the Wi-Fi service. Um, we're bringing you the software platform that lives in all these devices that's going to give you the ability to connect everyone and allow the device itself 
to give us information back as well. Okay. Analytics, predictive data, that type yeah. of stuff. So it's not like you need the app or any, it's not like an app or anything, it's literally through the public Wi-Fi. Yeah, you, you, you make a good point. So we, we, we didn't just build an app, we really built a platform. Right. So this platform, almost like an operating system that lives in these devices, mm -hmm. that's gonna inspire different things to occur. It's gonna manage everything sitting on top. Now we do have applications that live in that platform. So mm -hmm. like if that, that app you touched that was transportation, but it's really living in that platform. So it's uh, layered through sort of like your, the experience you'd have on your mobile device with the Apple Store, where you have your iPhone and it's running the actual OS, but on top of it, there are apps. Everything's coming from that software and is managed by that software. Mm -hmm. And there's these different layers of experiences, these apps yeah. that will occur from it. Okay, all right, I see. So, and then this is, what if there is no public Wi-Fi? So how would that, I'd be able to get it on my phone if I don't have the public Wi-Fi sure. access? Sure, so the, the device it's gonna live in, so I gave you kind of one scenario of um, a city like oh, Chicago. Oh, okay, okay. So in, with Chicago, that device you touch, that actual touch screen, mm -hmm. that unit that would sit on a street corner, would give you the ability just to transfer it by putting in your phone number and you'd walk away oh, with something. Oh, okay. Got Public Wi-Fi is an extension of it. Mm -hmm. uh, moving into that bus or that train or even at the airport is kind of an extension of how far we could go yeah. to build this connective um, and consolidated approach to keeping you connected. But it could live on just that device. It could live just in that mobile that you're connected to mm -hmm. once you've loaded something or on that bus or that train. Okay. And then the other thing is that that's kind of one scenario, but then you could look at using it in retail. We're inside um, a number of Simon malls, and we're using uh, our platform within interactive touch devices with public Wi-Fi to inspire consumers to engage retailers, um, to know where things are at, to connect them or alert them via where they're where they're located in the mall on different incentives or services. Mm -hmm. uh, if something's happening, safety services, alerts, all those types of things will happen because they're near a device that's connecting them to information. All right. So kind of moving away from that and more on to you, what drove you to become an entrepreneur versus working for somebody else? Um, probably, well, I'll, let me, if, if I'm gonna give you why I would have done this. So I grew up in one of the tougher neighborhoods in Chicago, uh, born and raised uh, in um, the Pilsen area, mm -hmm. and by my grandparents. So immediately I look at necessity. I look at the, the reason why I left school, I was going to DePaul, mm -hmm. and I left school to open my first company was because I had to. So while everyone else would have thought it was this creative idea of being um, a tech guy or having this fascination around some other industry, it was really necessity. Um, and it's probably gonna be a different response than what you're used to hearing with some of the other entrepreneurs. I looked at it as, here's where I'm at and here's where I need to go. Mm -hmm. And in order to get there, I gotta do something quick. So when I developed my first software, which is a bio software um, for banking around Y2K, um, I saw a niche um, and I saw that I could apply it and I could manage it. So I was able to uh, deploy it and build clients like BMO Harris, Nesbitt Burns, uh, work inside the US and Canada, and then um, uh, probably about 12 to 18 months after deploying it, I was able to license it and move out of it and I basically sold it. So mm -hmm. I saw it, uh, so what I look at, I, I, I turned into an entrepreneur based on necessity, um, and then I leveraged skill sets. I think everybody's born with talent, mm -hmm. but uh, you really have to refine that skill set to be good at it. So I yeah. really wanted to apply a talent that I, that I know that I had sort of, uh, and that I was born with, and then I applied it within that first piece of software and within that niche and then sort of took off. And why did you choose to kind of start Elevate Digital? So what was kind of the reasoning behind that? Um, everything that I've done over the last 15 years, uh, every company that I've started or uh, software that we've developed or whatever whatever I've done there's been a direct focus in changing the way people live okay. um, and elevate without one question does that it's probably the biggest effort that I've contributed to to changing the way people live um, knowing that elevate has the ability to change the way people communicate because traditional communication doesn't happen at street level mm -hmm. metrics are not co collected at street level um, so if you look at the out-of-home industry they don't actually collect metrics on uh, a sign. There's no way, there's no engagement, there's no way for that sign to tell you if anyone saw it and what they did with it. Mm -hmm. So we really wanted to look at how we could change the way people communicate. We wanted to build a technology that would advance the way people lived. 
I wanted to build um, or help contribute to the digital vibe and really bringing technology across different communities. Um, and then I really wanted to, to own um, a new trend in, in, in communicating. So that was the, the reason why we opened up Elevate. Mm -hmm. And so kind of wrapping up our segment, I want to ask you, what is that one piece of advice that you would give to our community of entrepreneurs on meetadvisors.com? Yeah, um, <laughs> you know, the doors, the, I, I, I refer to, because to, I've masked this often, but I, I, I refer to being able to accept the fact that people are going to disagree with you. They're going to uh, turn you down. Um, they're not going to believe in it. Um, that's inevitable. Uh, you're going to hear that more than you probably will during this entrepreneur stage because you're saying, because you're going to hear no a lot. Basically what I'm getting at is you're going to hear no a lot and you have to be able to accept that without it hurting mm -hmm. or redefining what you believe in. You have to stay focused and you really, really have to um, ensure that you believe in, in what you're doing because if you don't, no one else will. Mm -hmm. um, but it's inevitable people are going to shut you down and you really have to be able to sort of shake it off and just go after it and, and uh, ensure that you, um, you build a company you believe in. And where can people find out more about you and Elevate Digital? Sure, so um, we're in Chicago, we're headquartered in Chicago, we have an office in New York in Las Vegas. Um, ElevateDigital.com, um, we're uh, downtown Chicago and um, I, I think that our website's probably the best way to reach us. Alright, great. Yeah. Guys, check out ElevateDigital.com and check out MeetAdvisors.com for more videos and blogs. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.